Tennessee hunters have long been known as conservationists. As you follow the sportsmen and women that came before you, I want to make you aware of a deadly disease that's threatening the health of Tennessee's deer herd. It's called chronic wasting disease, or CWD. I remember a time when a deer in the wild was a rare thing to see. CWD could take us back to that point. We need your help in making sure that doesn't happen. As you watch the next few minutes of this video, I hope you'll make the decision to partner with the TWRA to keep Tennessee CWD free. 24 states are now dealing with chronic wasting disease. And it's such an urgent issue here now because three of our border states now have it. There are several avenues where chronic wasting disease could be introduced into Tennessee. One is just from a, a deer from a positive state making its way into Tennessee. The second is, is through the movement of deer and elk that are privately owned. Uh, these are exotic animals for the most part. And lastly is through hunter killed carcasses being brought in from infected states uh, that could potentially bring the disease agent and infect the animals in our state. Chronic wasting disease is, a, is always fatal. It affects the central nervous system of deer, elk, and moose. It results in holes in the brain. Symptoms of CWD, if you think about the name of the disease, wasting, that's a really good description of how the animals suffer as they are affected by the disease. They lose weight. Uh, they look really skinny. Uh, they have trouble eating and drinking. Hunters traveling to other states need to be aware that there's import restrictions on how deer, elk, and moose can be brought back into Tennessee. The import restrictions are basically that the animal has to be free of the entire central nervous system, backbone, uh, spleen, uh, lymph nodes. This can't be brought into Tennessee. So in, in a sense, you would need, the, the animal would need to be completely deboned. Uh, the meat would have to be, uh, you basically can just be, bring back meat and finished taxidermy products. So if you were to bring antlers back, the skull, skull plates would need to be completely clean. And then uh, you, you could also bring back a cape. Here, if we cut the neck, get the sample out. Ah, uh, don't matter to me. Okay. Yeah. Primarily in each year during the deer seasons, opening day of muzzleloader, opening weekend of muzzleloader, a day or two during the season, opening day of gun season, uh, opening weekend, a, a day or two in gun season, we will be at check stations, we will be at processors, uh, meeting hunters and, and sampling deer for CWD. Now, the way we do that is we have to uh, remove a couple of lymph nodes from the throat of the deer and send those off to the lab. Uh, that's where we get the most of our samples, but we also will get samples from roadkill deer or deer that we find throughout the year that uh, appear sick or, or, or whatever, that if we can get a sample from it, we'll get a sample. We're being proactive simply because of the impact CWD could have on this state, on, on the hunters in this state. We have well over 300,000 hunters, deer hunters in this state, and that impacts their recreation. It impacts the economy of this state because those deer hunters spend money every time they have a, a hunting trip. You've got an economic impact that's estimated by the University of Tennessee of being about 46 million. Chronic wasting disease would lead the Wildlife Agency or its commission to take drastic action in changing the deer regulations from, from what they are currently, which are very popular and embraced by hunters. Uh, they would have to change those uh, in such a way that typically are not popular uh, with hunters. It's going to have a great big negative impact on the economy. It's going to have a huge impact on the Wildlife Agency and how it manages deer and how it interacts with hunters. And then lastly, uh, it's going to impact how hunters, um, how they care for their animal when they harvest it. This, this is a, our proactive effort. This is surveillance. We want to know if we have it. And so uh, in the last few years, we've looked at just under 10,000 deer and elk in Tennessee uh, and tested for CWD. No positives, all negative. Again, this year we're looking for uh, as many deer as we can get, somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 deer this year, uh, statewide. Uh, we, if, if we have it, we want to find it so that, so that we can address the issues. We have a CWD plan in place, and, and we'll go, go straight to implementing that plan. If you're a deer hunter this year, pay attention to our Facebook page because we're going to be posting where we're going to be on opening day of gun season, opening day of muzzleloader season, 
So if you harvest a deer, and if you would come by and let us sample your deer and, and include your deer in our surveillance effort. For information on import restrictions for deer, elk, and moose, see tnwildlife.org.